Continuing from our last video, we built the first part of our dashboard with Zebra BI tables. And now we will be adding the Zebra BI charts to the dashboard. As we already started with the detailed insight table, we might want to complement it with some sort of a time analysis or trend chart. For that, let's select the Zebra BI charts from the visualizations pane. Power BI will automatically fit it into the available space. Now, let's bring in the revenue AC and previous year. And also on the categories, let's add in the month. If we wanted, we could then drag the year into the group and create a small multiples view. And if we now click to this little icon, we can switch to the stacked bar charts as well. But for now, let's remove this and create a slicer for our year. So let's select the slicer from the visualization pane and enter the year. Move the slicers to the top. Select the drop down from the menu and select a single year. As you can now see, the slicer has filtered both of our visuals. We can now freely interact with both visuals as well and click on a single or by holding control, multiple categories by which we can then filter the visuals between themselves. Or we can simply, to remove this, we can simply click again and the filters will be removed. This cross-highlighting functionality will work together with native and other Power BI visuals. With Zebra BI charts, you also have many different view options, such as the waterfall view, the column view, the area view, or the line chart view. Both Zebra BI charts and tables are fully responsive. If you resize them, they will use the available space accordingly to show as much data to still be legible while providing valuable insights. Moving on, if we switch back to the waterfall view, we can zoom in on the variances by breaking the y-axis by clicking on the column. Lastly, let's just add a few more slicers to get even more filtering options. So let's copy the first slicer by Ctrl C and Ctrl V and rearrange them, add in the month instead of the year and maybe a salesperson. Once we are done with the formatting of the slicers, we can hold control and select all of the slicers and then select control G or right click and group group. Now all the slicers are grouped together and we can move them together. If we now select the values for our sliders, for, for example, Claretta Crips for the salesperson and October in the months, you'll see that the slicers will filter the data accordingly. However, maybe we do not wish for the month slicers to filter the trend chart and we can limit this by clicking on the month slicer and going to format pane and edit interactions. And here we can simply click on this icon none to prevent the month slicer from filtering the trend chart, but it will still filter our table. Now we can simply close this and we are done. This concludes our Zebra BI tables and Zebra BI charts demonstrations and in our final video you will learn how to finish up your dashboard design.